I bet with Interbet only. They're a fantastic site. I've never had any issues with them. They are very professional. There's never a problem. You deposit money, two seconds later it's in your account. You withdraw, which I do very occasionally. And uh, I believe it's also two seconds it's in your account. Race nine, the final leg of the pick six. The place accumulator goes at 16.25. It's the Battle Force 2021 Phillies and Mares 74 handicap over 1,400 metres. We have a full field to face the starter and certainly a tough, tough race to end the card. Before discussing the race any further, we'll bring you a rerun of number nine, Lady Serena, winning at Hollywood Bet Scottsville on the 1st of May. And the rerun will be followed with, by interviews with Paul Peter, Glenn Cotson, Peter Musket and Gareth Finsale. Tries to come forward. Sea Eagles along the inside. Jack's Bird coming to the 200 metre marker. Drama Queen, Flashy Katrina. Lady Eustra and Sea Eagles running a big race on the inside. Lady Serena's getting into it. Sea Eagles on the inside. Lady Serena electrified got up from Sea Eagle. Jack's Bird and Sacred Blues. Lady Serena in the blink of an eye took the victory. She was a little bit disappointing on the poly last time, but she was coming off a break. She could have maybe just needed that first run in the province, but she seems to have blossomed after the run. So we've taken our chances running a week later, and she's doing well. I think she should be included in all bets, but uh, no good thing. Yeah, look, unfortunately, we haven't been blessed with draws, especially uh, uh, with this filly. Uh, she never cracks a draw. She hasn't got one again, and... Uh, I just said it would be nice to give Nic Nicholas Patel a win on a big day. She's got the credentials to, to win it. She's got to get lucky from the draw. Um, but it's, uh, yeah, it's great. I mean, these, these uh, young jocks are putting in all the work during the week, uh, day in and day out, uh, you know, when the big jocks aren't here. And uh, they're going to be rewarded. Please, God, we can. Yeah, I think we can draw a line through her last start. She got, she got caught up in the, in the kickback and basically never raised a gallop. So back on the turf, she did run encouragingly well at her first start for me at the, over the Scots for 1400. Once again, the draw is a concern, uh, and same as for the other two drawn deep. Uh, if she hasn't got too much to make up turning in and there's good tempo up front early, uh, she should be finishing off well and probably one for your quartet. Yeah, she's actually in a good space. It's a pity she, you know, she's a reserve. They would have loved for her to get a run, and the meeting was washed out when she was supposed to run recently. So. Yeah, she, she's actually fitting in a good space, so it would be nice if she could get a run. This is a very tough way to end an exciting day's racing at Hollywood Bets, uh, Scottsville, Saturday the 4th of June, Golden Hall Sprint Day. They're betting 5-1 to one the field. The favourite is number 9, Lady Serena, who was a track and trip winner last time out, and you could do worse than just follow Lady Serena again. I do like a little bit of Glenn Cotson's uh, number 10, Lady Tiptree. I think she could... Uh, Make a bold showing here. Last time out third to Patronage, who's very consistent. That was on the poly track, but there's no reason uh, why Lady Triptree shouldn't go well there. She's had two previous starts on the turf, and her only victory, in fact, did come on the turf. Shell Seeker, winner on debut in a comfortable way, hasn't been seen since September. Others that I'll just quickly mention before passing the ball down the line to Sheldon. Hopefully, he can be more help. than I can be. Lazuli, definite chance. Burmese Tiara from the Paul Peter stable. Definite chance. Lady Macbeth, Umvalazana, Lady Serena, Lady Tiptree, Shell Seeker. The list goes on and on. I guess Lady Serena probably rates the one to beat, but can't be confident. Well, as you mentioned, passing the ball to me, I hope the goalkeeper walks out the goals when I have a shot at the goals here, because this is a, a real tough handicap. You mentioned number nine, Lady Serena. She's won her last two in search of the hat-trick. She's gone up to 76, but she could be equal to the task. Shell Seeker is the unknown. Very impressive first time out, but has been off the track for a lengthy absence and has the wide draw to contend with. So putting me in a corner, I'm going to lean with number six, Lady Macbeth. 
I think this is a horse who caught us a bit off guard when coming through to run second to Purple and Kanyezi, who franked the form, and then last time out from a poor draw, so a big draw string, spring around. So number six, Lady Macbeth for me, that is the one to beat. Nine, Lady Serena, and I'm going to throw in number three, Big City Girl, along with one, Lazula. So... As far as you can throw a stone, throw as many runners as you can in race number nine over the 1400 meter trip. We're going to take a look at the Glala selections very, very shortly. They're going to come up on screen as we hand you over to Graham. There's no Glala selections for the last, so I think we're actually saved. Yeah, we are saved because I wouldn't have known what to suggest had there been a Glala selection for the ninth and last race. But that's this race, very tough end to the day. If you manage to get a share of this quartet, you'll have done really well. I respect Lady Macbeth. I always respect Sheldon's choices. But for me, must include Burmese Tiara, Lady Serena, and Lady Tiptree. Uh, my name's Danny Deliberto, founder of Ladles of Love. It was founded back in 2014. Communities we, we work with are all over the peninsula and um, we're working with 138 beneficiaries now. We've grown exponentially. Um, we've been able to do that because of all the kindness that we have experienced um, from individuals and corporates such as uh, Interbet who just want to be part of the change.